Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Josh Talks To You and this time it's actually on my camera and it's actually in front of my desk. I just got back from San Francisco. Um, I was spending some quality time with some of my family, my distant family. And we went to this bookstore in Japantown that I don't really, really remember the main. It's this. Besides getting gifts for someone, um, I got two things for myself, just for daddy. And I'm pretty excited. High key, I didn't even expect to get anything because I wasn't really, you know, in the market for getting anything for myself. Um, it's just that these two things were like really struck a chord with me. Like you can already predict what I'm going to talk about. So without further ado, these are two items. One is a full length book and the other one is a sort of like magazine art book. Both are art books essentially. And they're Japanese media, so I will not understand anything inside. Besides, like, the English lettering, I will not understand any Props. Uh, it'll just be for decoration and just more of, like, a, I guess, like, a magazine piece. Like, a talking point. I don't know. So, let me show them to you. We'll start off with the lighter one. It would be... A Super Sentai magazine? No way. Um, this would be... It's called the Super Sentai Official... 20th Century Mook. I don't know if that's offensive. I hope not. But M-O-O-K. Mook. <laughs> I guess it's short for media book. Oh yeah, Kino Kunia is the name of the bookstore. Kino Kunia. And this, it's, it's, a, it's a series of books, I guess, highlighting the specific season of Super Sentai, featuring prominently the Red Ranger leader, um, as Super Sentai always does. So, this is from QQ Sentai Go Go 5, one of my favorite Sentais, because the American adaptation is obviously Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. And I love Lightspeed Rescue a bit. Um, Car uh, Carter Grayson, the Red Ranger, is literally, as my friend describes him, Captain America of Power Rangers, and for good reason. He is, <laughs> he is a tall, blonde, white American male. <laughs> And also, uh, he's pretty likable, very much a stoic personality, so um, I guess it fits the leader type, I don't know, I just like the season. Even of how goofy it is, it's it's fun. But Kiku Sentai Gogo 5 has been a season I've been wanting to get into, but I've only watched, I believe, three episodes, could be less. And I found those episodes, like, on some random website, so I'm still looking to watch these episodes. I might just fork over like 40, 50 bucks and buy the DVD collection from Shout Factory. And that might be a better alternative for me. So you can see you got Go Go Red, I guess is what he's called. I don't know. I don't know enough about the series. But part of me wants to believe his name is Matoi because they're like a family, right? It's like it's very much like Magi Ranger where they're they're a family of Super Sentai members. And he's like the older brother of this team. Where, as compared to Magi Ranger, the Red Ranger is the youngest in the family, so it's like a, you know, a little parallel. It has the cl critical lyric from the, the theme song. It says, save the earth, save the life. And I think I really liked, um, so when Super Sentai is very much grounded in realistic, like, paramedic vehicles. I like it when when the Zords are sort of, I call them, they're called Mecha and like whatever, but like I call, I still call them Zords. When the Zords are pretty much like emergency rescue vehicles, because I think that's where Power Rangers should be. They should be rescuing people and helping people because essentially they're an extension um, of the emergency medical services, right? They're supposed to go into fires, they're supposed to go into natural disasters, they're supposed to try to risk their lives to help people and protect other people. And yes, they kill monsters, but I feel like Lightspeed Rescue nailed a lot of that. Yes, they're also still people that try to, you know, jump in. Like, they're still firefighters, right? They're still lifeguards. <laughs> they're still, like, emergency people. They're still nurses. But yes, I don't know if I'm going to collect the whole thing, because I believe this series ran up until uh, Q-Ranger, which is the, the Sentai before Ryu Soldier, which is, I believe, the 42nd. Super Sentai, I could be wrong. Here's the number, if I'm if I'm wrong or right. You can see like a bunch of other examples of Super Sentai leaders. You got Gokai Red, you got Gosei Red, you got... 
Toku Red, right? A uh, Boken Red, you got uh, Geki Red, right? My goodness. Gao Red, you got Hurricane Red, you got Abar, Abar Red, Deca Red, you know, all the good ones. This will be a nice little thing to have sort of as my mantelpiece. I feel like I'm just gonna like hang it up. But yeah, I really like that. And also, the show is okay. <laughs> I, I watched, it was like one of the first Power Rangers series I actually finished on Netflix before they took it off, and it's okay. It's not the best, but it's alright. Yeah, fantastic. And then the next thing is Super Sentai. I can't read any of this. <laughs> But Super Sentai, if you notice anything weird about the helmets in this shot, these are all the Super Sentai helmets from various seasons. If you notice anything different about them, some of them look like, look like weirdly painted toys, because they are! This is supposed to be a toy guide for various Super Sentai season toys! Usually, probably figures. Um, there was also a Kamen Rider one and a Ultraman one, sorry, Ultraman. There was a, um, both of those and this were present, but this was the only one of its kind in, in Kinokuniya. And the Ultraman and the Kamen Rider one had several copies and a demo copy that you could read through. But this is the only one that was actually sealed. Um, there was only one of it and it was sealed, so I felt like I needed to do it. Besides these two books, there was also another book called Kira Major Sparkling Imagination. It's like the perfect art book, and that one is very hefty. It's bigger than this, and it's like more pages than that. I wanted to get that one because I loved Kira Major, but we'll save that for later. This one, um, I'm gonna open these. <laughs> Mostly because when I collect something, I collect it to look at it, and I collect it to appreciate it what it is. I don't collect things and save them in their boxes. But just showing you guys what I got. I love Super Sentai. I love Power Rangers. And I love both GoGo -Go 5, Lightspeed Rescue, and Power Rangers Super Sentai as a whole. And I respect the history, I respect the legacy, and I respect the series. So, slap down another thing that you might know about my hobbies because I don't collect many things about Super Sentai and Power Rangers. Besides my my Doggy Kruger lightning collection figure. I don't really have that much Power Ranger stuff. And it's nice to have something like this because it feels more elegant. Obviously, you have your own money and you can do whatever you want with your own money. But yeah, Super Sentai. Love it, right? I hope it goes on forever. Anyway, you guys have a good night and happy Thanksgiving. Have a good one.